welcome to Nick's top tips. This new video will be showing you how to add a new meeting room to Centre Charge. Um, there are many ways you many reasons why you want to add a new meeting room. You could be converting an office into a set of meeting rooms, or you could have got a bit more land and you've added meeting rooms. But at times you will need to know how to add new meeting rooms to the system. So if you go configuration items you see a list of all your items. Um, you need to click on new item in order to make the meeting room. So this meeting room is going to be called the lavender lavender room. Okay, and under the group you will want to select the most relevant group. In this case, I believe there's one called meeting rooms, yeah. The start date is the date that the meeting room will be available from. So in this case, the room's not going to be available until the 1st of August because they're doing some refurbs in that. The revenue account code is directly linked to Sage. So if you don't know this, you need to speak to your accountant to find out which code which revenue account code links to Sage. For this one it is 4000. So moving on down here, the VAT is at 20% and the meeting room, it is a meeting room so you must tick this box, that is very important for it to be used as a meeting room. So moving on up here, the location so the located at will say where the meeting room is. So in this case, it's in the Tower 75. So I assume that the people at, currently residing at Tower 75 have got access to it. But as the Innovation Centre is only around the corner, they also have access to it. So moving on to reservations now. This is where you set the prices for your meeting rooms. So the internal hourly rate can be £100 and the X and the half day can be 250 and the daily 5 400 Now the external rates are for people who are not currently residents um, of that centre. So therefore, or they're not in your centre charge system. So you tend to charge more for these customers. Advance rates will enable you to adjust how long a half day is. So, because diff different people have different rates, uh, different class half days as a different period of time. This is currently set to 240 minutes, but you can easily adjust it here. The number of people is a very important field because this will, sh this will tell you how many people can fit into the meeting room, the, the maximum number. So if you're searching for a meeting room with 10 for 16 people um, and you type in 16 people, this one will not show because it's set to 15 people. Whereas if you were to put in anything, search for anything under 15, this one will show. And the included discount schemes has to be ticked if you're on a discount policies for certain accounts. Some of the discount some some of our customers use discount policies of twenty percent off or other ones use you you get six free hours of meeting rooms. There there are many different ways you can use the uh, discount schemes and they are located up here. The related space is if the meeting room is linked to any other meeting rooms. For example, if you have two meet a large room which can be split into two, so room A and room B, or all together it could be room C. In that case, you'd have to add it as the related items, um, which is down here. This would mean that if if one half of the room had been taken, then the, there's no way that the the whole room can be taken at the same time. Okay, and that is how you add a meeting room or centre charge. There are plenty of other videos if you have a look at the centre charge channel on YouTube. Thank you for listening.